all of the questions today are about climate change and we just want to gather um, some information about how much people know and what their opinions on it are. So the first one is, have you seen any uh, differences in the seasons or the weather that you think might be connected to climate change? Yes. Yes, all of it, I think, quite yes. a lot, yeah, yes. the, the heat, the rainstorms and the storms and everything, everybody's having, I think that's all connected. Yes, a lot, yes. I've noticed the seasons have seemed to have changed. To me, um, summer now is uh, May and June. I know it's July now, but I feel it's uh, the start of autumn. It would appear so, look at today, why Evan doesn't normally get this. Yeah, absolutely, we don't get snow ever where we used to. Um, it's a lot wetter more frequently now through the autumn, well it seems that way anyway, through autumn and all that sort of thing. So yes, I think you can. Um, I seem to find that the weather lately has been a lot warmer. Um, the climate seems to, the heat especially, that it's really humid. There's no sort of like air, especially at night times in bed. The children all have their windows open in the house. It's um, it's quite muggy at night time. And in the morning you've got that like really warm smell, which for this time of year is normal, but it's a lot more than what it has been in the past. I'm going to say a couple of words to you and I just want you to say the first thing that pops into your head. So the first word is climate change. Bad. Affecting us all. Warmer weather. <laughs> Biodiversity. Badly needed. I'm going to pass, I don't even know what that means. And then I've got green jobs. Good. <laughs> Badly needed. <laughs> Sorry, I sound like a broken record. Green jobs. Yeah. Green jobs, um, okay, so like working outside a lot more, and um, people getting the chance to be out and about rather than stuck in offices and buildings and being able to take the work outside, especially for like school children who get the chance to go out and work outside. My daughter works outside a lot at school when it's warmer, and um, she really enjoys that. Um, so yeah, being outside a lot more. The next question is about COP26. Do you know what COP26 is? No idea. I don't. Um, I don't know. So COP26 is the UN Conference of Parties that will be happening in November um, in Glasgow this year. So the world leaders will be coming together to discuss climate change. Do you yeah. think events like that are important for the fight against climate change? Um, absolutely, I do, because like if you've got children, like say, in this country who aren't used to the heat, who do work inside classrooms, who some of them don't get the chance to be out and about, like whereas in other countries you get them where they, you see them outside sitting in the gardens and being able to do the work outside and enjoy the weather, um, so yeah, that would be that would be something that I would agree that needs to happen. Tremendous, absolutely. If we could, all, if all the nations got together and um, tackled it, it would be a better future for our children and grandchildren. Because I'm concerned about the um, the state of the climate and pollution. And, uh, we're making good inroads, but uh, not enough. As long as they actually do something worthwhile when they're there, yeah. Uh, whose responsibility do you think it is to uh, like fight against climate change? Do you think it's individuals, uh, governments or corporations? Everybody. Individuals and governments. Yes, everyone. Everyone to play their part. Yes. You can't, you can't do it otherwise, can you? No. All of us, governments, business, every individual, if we all made an effort, every little help would help. Um, a mix between corporations and governments, I think. You know, corporations need to speak to the government to change these kind of things in educational bills, you know, allowing the children to be outside, allowing them to enjoy the warmer weather that we're experiencing. Um, obviously, when it's cold, obviously, they've got to be inside, but and just to let them enjoy what we get, do you know what I mean? That's really important to them for their childhood. We're in hard times at the minute, you know, so allowing them to be outside and, and enjoy the weather with their friends at school is a lot better than being stuck inside a classroom. Absolutely. There's the, obviously, there's a the place for corporations to do it as well on a, big, on a larger scale, but yeah, it's an individual um, thing you can do to help. So absolutely, yeah, individual. Do you do anything in your personal life um, to help with climate change? Yes, re yeah. recycle everything as much as I can, um, turn down the thermostats, um, what else do I do? Try and walk as much as possible, use public transport as much as possible. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, climate change, obviously, it's going to affect the animals in the, in the world as well. Um, so yeah, definitely, I, I eat a lot less meat now anyway. Um, flying, I'm not big on flying, but yeah, climate change has got a massive thing to do with the, the air pollution, you know, the, how it affects us, our health and stuff. So yeah, I'd agree with that. Well, we, we, never, we, we have a motor, but we never use it unless we're going far away. We only use it to go on holiday and when we get to our destination, so as we're staying now in Penrith, 
we park it at Penrith at the guest house and then we go everywhere using public transport from there. So it's got us all the way here today, it's public transport. And we do all the recycling. Recycling, we do all the recycling when we're back at home in his own, you know, in his own home sort of thing.